Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a puzzling issue that many developers encounter while working with OpenGL and GLFW. Our viewer is facing a frustrating rendering problem. The line they are trying to draw only appears correctly when they move the window. Let's explore this intriguing question together. So, what's going on here? Our viewer is attempting to draw a simple line from the bottom left to the top right of the screen. However, the line only renders correctly after moving the window. This behavior can be quite perplexing, especially when working on a macOS system using Xcode. Let's break down the issue and see how we can solve it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. The issue you're experiencing is likely related to how OpenGL handles the window's context and the viewport settings. When you move the window, it triggers a refresh that correctly updates the rendering. It To address this, we need to ensure that the viewport is set correctly every time the window is resized or moved. This can be done by adding a callback function to handle window size changes. Next, we should modify the main loop to include a call to this callback function. This ensures that the viewport is updated correctly during the rendering process. Finally, make sure to check your OpenGL context settings and ensure that you're using the correct version of OpenGL that supports your rendering needs. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're experiencing rendering issues with OpenGL or GLFW on Mac OS X Mojave, there's a known problem. You can find more information and temporary workarounds on the GLFW GitHub page. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're experiencing rendering issues with OpenGL or GLFW on macOS, there's a simple fix. After swapping buffers, try moving the window slightly. This can help refresh the rendering. To implement this, include the provided code in a header file and call the function right after polling events or swapping buffers. This makes it easy to reuse. This solution was inspired by a user named BrutePit on GitHub. You can find the original code linked in the description. And that's it guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.